perfect, but it's, it'll work. It'll work for yep. at least JV. Yep. So there's more more action than top of the roof. And then we can zoom here. I'll zoom in from here. 
no reason to have more than half court. There you go.
Lynch, we good to go. So have Luke if you can't figure out that needs to be selected to make sure we have the clock up. Okay. And then just kind of go back and forth. It'll show up in preview here, and then we can pull it over. But yeah, right now you can see everything. So and then it's official. You don't have to worry about resetting it all the time. I can make the full scoreboard up there, but I just prefer to have the clock. It, yeah. looks, it looks good too. So.
everything we do.
Mic check one two, mic check one two. Welcome to Centennial Digital Driven by Freedom Tire. We are here on the north side of Ankeny broadcasting the home opener for your Ankeny Centennial Jaguars boys basketball team. I'm here. I'm Cash Rambali running your play-by-play -play tonight. And this one should be a good one. The Iowa City Liberty Lightning Bolts are here in town on the north side of Ankeny. Came from the... southeastern corner, excuse me, of Iowa, and uh, came up north to Ankeny, and they are 1-0, had a game a couple weeks ago against Clear Lake, excuse me, Clear Creek, I believe, um, they got the win on that one, and your Jaguars are 1-1 one one with a loss against the Urbandale Jayhawks, and a win Excuse me, a win against the Urbandale Jayhawks and a loss against the Dowling Maroons. I am off my game a little like, too excited, possibly, tonight. Looking at a couple stats, the Jaguars' leader in points right now is Luke Winkle with 44 points for the Jaguars. Coming in a second place is number 13, Nick Vasky. They're both seniors. Both seniors held the bar last year. I had a little bit of time to talk to Luke Winkle earlier today, pre-game, and I had a little bit of a conversation with him. He did he did mention that the loss against Dallin Catholic was because of a poor defense. He said that hopefully they could come back in this one and have great defense and hopefully get the win. Also, he did say I did bring up that Iowa City West, excuse me, Iowa City Liberty could be a threat possibly, and he did say he does want all the smoke. He said that this team is the team that can take stuff, and they want harder, harder challenges. So we'll see how this works out. And so, also I asked him. My last question here was talking about Rex Jones, a kid that. Didn't get as much playing time last year, but this year gets a lot and came out and did. Had such a great 
year so far. Now looking over at Iowa City Liberty, number number 30, Trey Hughes, the senior, has the most points for the for Iowa City Liberty with 1474 points combined. And that that win was against Clear Creek. It was a 74-62 win over at Clear Creek, so that was a good win for them. We're going to go ahead and go to a break here with about 4.15 left on the clock until we have a tip for the boys. You're watching Centennial Digital, driven by Freedom Tire. So when an athlete walks into Nick Garage Fitness, the one thing we want them to know is that this is a phenomenal community. We have the best coaching. We have the best technology. We have the, the programming that can help them succeed. So whether it's trying to get on JV for the first time, going to that next level on varsity, going from a, a second string to you know an all-state player, we have the tools, we have the, the programming and the coaching in order to take So when an athlete walks into Nick Garage Fitness, whenever, ready, ready whenever, whenever you are, whenever you are, we have the best coaching, we have the best technology, we have the, the programming. Welcome back to Centennial Digital, driven by Freedom Tire. Going to that next level. On Excuse me, we had a little bit of a technical difficulty, but welcome back to Centennial Digital, driven by Freedom Tire. The Jaguars are back on the court. And ready for a little shoot around as we see a couple starters out there tonight. The Jaguars have a same starting lineup for the last two weeks uh, for the Tuesday and last Tuesday and last Friday game. The starting lineup for the Jaguars is number two, Connor Welsh, number 10, Chase Shuddy, number 12, Joey Oki, and number 13, Nick Vasky, excuse me, Nick Vasky, and and finally, number 14, Luke Winkle. Luke Winkle is the top scorer for this team. Like I said much earlier, he did say, he did mention that they, he was looking to have a, a big point scoring game here against Iowa City Liberty. He said he's going to put all his all into it. And he did also say in the interview that this is his senior year, and he's trying to look to get the most out of it. Uh, earlier commit to St. Cloud State University. And we've got about a 155 left on our warm-up clock. And we've got our cheerleaders out there dancing to the fans and getting, trying to get our fans a little bit hype about the home opener for the Jaguars. We'd like to welcome in everybody from wherever they are watching. We're here on the north side of Ankeny, Iowa. Go ahead and put in the comments where you are right now. We would love to hear where you are currently watching from. And we've got about a minute, minute left on the clock and we've got Lights going down low. We've got the boxing lights on, and we're almost here ready for some starting lineups. We've got the starting lineups playing on the board right now. Excuse me, not starting lineups, the rosters. The Jaguar have a pretty steep roster going from a, going from a freshman, at number 32, Evan Abbott, the freshman, all the way up to multiple seniors this year and our roster this year stretches pretty far and we've got a lot of seniors so we've got about 30 seconds left on the on the clock warm up clock here and we're gonna go ahead and send it down to our number one announcer in the state of Iowa he does baseball he does it all he helps us out with Centennial Digital occasionally Cade Tomlinson
Everything we do is here to benefit the client. Every decision that's needed to be made, the first question you should ask is, does this, does this benefit the client and is this the best thing for the client? Tools and, and resources that we have to help price their homes correctly, to help market them correctly, and um, get them, it's, it's the way that we can help them accomplish whatever their goals are. We are available basically 24 seven to make sure that our agents are getting the support they need um, to look like a million bucks in front of their clients. Let's have a good one tonight, boys. And we've got the national anthem done, and we've got our starting lineups finished. And ladies and gentlemen, we're going to run through our categories here. We've got five players from each side. We've got three players, excuse me, three refs. We've got eight minutes on the clock, and we have fans in the stands. It is showtime. Iowa City Liberty gets the ball here off the tip. Luke Winkle, a heavy defense on the player on Iowa City. Screen tried to Iowa City Liberty with a with a screen and tipped out. Off a Jaguar, so Liberty's gonna have it. So Winkle tips it, and it's gonna go out of bounds. And the refs are gonna call that one a out of bounds call and off the Jags. So Liberty's gonna have the ball over towards the corner. Passed over around the three point up towards the top. Dribbles over to the three, three shot, and that one's missed. Iowa City Liberty with the rebound. Liberty with the drive in, and it's a steal for Luke Winkle. Winkle driving in, passes over to Welsh. Welsh to Oki. Oki to Vasky. Vasky up for the two, and it's good. Vasky with a nice little pop-up two-pointer. Welsh has got Liberty defended well. Goes up for the shot, and that's missed. Rebound by Welsh. Welsh is over to Oki. Oki to Winkle, Winkle looks to go drive, misses it, and goes back to drive. He's trapped over to Shuddy, over to Oki. Oki to drive in for the two, and just right out the basket. And Liberty's gonna have themselves a rebound. They brought it up, they had a three-point try from Liberty, that one's missed, a rebound from Liberty. And looks like they might have a little bit of injury. So that's already two offensive rebounds for Liberty. And Vasky's going to throw it in to Winkle. Looks like they've got a little bit of a defense from Liberty on the Jags. Gets over the half court to Vasky. Vasky to Oki in the corner. Vasky over to Winkle up at the top of the key. Hands off to Vasky. Hands off to Welsh. High throw to Winkle. Winkle goes up and did not touch the rim. So it's a rebound from Liberty. Liberty has it over in the corner for a three-point try, and that one is off. Offensive rebound from Oki over to Vasky. Vasky up for a two, and that one's missed. Rebound by the Lightning. 
Lightning pulls up for three. And the three-pointer is good. So Shuddy's gonna throw it in to Winkle. Winkle's got heavy defense. Gets over the half court line. Looks to try and get something called here. Shuddy comes up, passes over to Shuddy. Shuddy with the handoff to Vasky. Vasky with the pump fake over to Winkle. Winkle looking to drive in. And we've got a foul call on the Lightning. Looks like So Liberty's got their first foul. Winkle's gonna be at the line. He makes his first. So it's all it's gonna be tied up here. 3-3 Winkle with another make. One thing coach does enforce, Coach Fontana is 15 three for free throws after every practice. So we can get better free throws. Rebound from Winkle. Winkle over to Shuddy. Stolen by Liberty. And looks like he didn't want to drive on that one, so it was a pass over to another guy. Shot up, three-pointer. Missed. Rebound from Vasky. So Vasky's going to bring it up. It's going to be a pass over to Chase Shuddy. Shuddy looking to go somewhere, can't go. Over to Oki, Oki driving in. And he waits for that two pointer to come right in his hands. Liberty brings it up. And they're gonna throw it around the key. Tipped by Winkle, stolen by Shuddy. Shuddy over to Winkle. Winkle crashing, crashing, excuse me. And we've got a foul call on Liberty. And we've got a blocking foul called on the Liberty, um, Liberty Lightning. So Wink, Luke Winkle's going to go to the line for the second time tonight within a two-minute period. First one's going to be missed. And looks like we're going to have a sub for the Jaguars. Connor Welsh is going to come out. And Caravan Klinger is going to come in for the Jaguars. So Winkle up for his first, or excuse me, his second one, and that one is good. Liberty's going to bring it up. Winkle's got him heavily defended. A handoff. Klinger's guys got it over to Vasquez. Vasquez with the heavy defense. Liberty looking to go somewhere. Jaguars have that lane locked down, so Liberty's trying to find some other way. Shot up for the three. That one's missed. Rebound by Shuddy. So Winkle's going to have it at the top of the key. Screen by Shuddy to Winkle over to Oki. Oki for the three, and it's good. Oki with his first one tonight. Liberty's going to bring it up. And over to the corner. Shot up. Three-pointer missed. And it's like we're going to have a foul call on Liberty. So we're going to have substitution for the Jaguars. Joey Oki is going to come out. And number 31, Will Smith, will come in for him. So the final determination on that last play would be a rebound. Looks like we had a foul after the play. And so we've got it in clear over to Vasky. Vasky bringing it up. Vasky trapped over to Winkle. Winkle's gonna take it all the way. And we've got another foul. He's going to attend the line within the last four minutes. He's attended the line three times. So 
Well, this is going to be the fourth foul on Liberty. And once again, once again, we do have that new foul rule where if we've got, we shoot, we do not have a one and one anymore. So both of those will be missed. And Liberty's going to bring it up. Liberty's going around the three-point. Looking to crash the lane. Chase Shuddy's in the lane. He looks like a big monster. Crashes, and he's still got it. Two-pointer. Winkle pushing it, and he goes to the lane. Dribbles back out over to Shuddy, over to Klinger. Klinger crashing lane, and looks like we're going to have a foul, and it's going to be on the ground. So that's Iowa City Liberty's third. So the team has five fouls here, and once again that, that rule will come into play where the fifth foul will be shooting, and it will, it will be shooting two, not a one and one. First one for Klinger is good. And his second one's going to be good as well. And looks like we might have a little problem here with the book. Got to make sure that's right. But a little bit ago, you saw Iowa City Liberty talking to one of the refs, the two coaches, just trying to find a way that... Um, they can still play physical. That one player that keeps or just having five fouls in the first, some way they can still keep playing physical just to find out the explanation. So it looks like we've got a problem here with the book, possibly a number problem. And with two twenty-four left in the first, it's twelve five. Iowa City Liberty has been given a big a tough time to the Jaguars. For the Jaguars, excuse me. So it must have been a number problem, but we're back to playing some basketball. So Liberty is gonna have it. Winkle's gonna meet the Meet Liberty at the half court line. Looks like a screen tries to go, but it didn't work. Winkle's got heavy defense in the lane. And over to another Liberty player from Klinger's guy to Vasky's guy. And we've got a foul on the floor. So Chase Shuddy is going to have his first foul in the night. Liberty's going to go ahead and pass it in from the bottom. Liberty in. A missed two-pointer. Winkle's going to get the defensive rebound and a nice two-pointer. So he's going to get the defensive rebound and bring it all the way down for the Jaguars' lead to extend. Liberty brings it up. Smith's guy meets Shuddy. Shuddy's guy has it. Shuddy goes straight up. And Shuddy goes straight up with both hands straight in the sky. But the refs still say that was a foul. So Chase Shuddy has himself too. We looks like we're going to have a couple subs come in. Looks like Kill Jones, number 35 might come in, is coming in, and number 30, Rex Jensen, is coming in as well. Excuse me, Kale Jones. So those two come in. Hey, the score was...
Uh, both those free throws were missed, and the Jaguars go with the two-pointer. And we've got a timeout for the Lightning. And it's just going to be a 30-second timeout, so we'll just stick here for that. Who just made the last basket for us? got that last basket for us. I had to confirm a little bit of stats. I missed it trying to keep up with stats so we can hopefully review those stats at halftime. So the Jaguars get themselves a 11 point lead to where they wanted it to be to start off. And we've got 110 left in the first and the Jaguars are possibly looking to extend their lead and Liberty's looking to hopefully get this lead down to, just to get it down a little bit. So Liberty's gonna have the ball tipped out by a Winkle. Winkle look to try and get the steal. So it's gonna be put on the other side. Liberty stops. Get a pass out. Smith playing heavy defense, and he gets the rebound. Over to Winkle, and that's a three-pointer for a Luke a Winkle. So Liberty's gonna bring it up. Jaguars are gonna have a bigger lead extension. Three-pointer by Liberty. That one's out. Off the back. Rebound by Winkle. That's three tonight for him. He's going to bring it up. He's got Rex Jones and Nick Vasky on each side for the wings. He's got Kale Jones and Will Smith on the bottom. Looks like they're going to run a play here. Winkle up. Th missed three-pointer. Still re offensive rebound. We go for the three, and it's good at the buzzer. Luke Winkle with the beautiful three-pointer. So that's going to be the end of the first quarter. One heck of a quarter for the Jaguars. Jaguars are going to go into the second with a lead of 22 to 5. You're watching Centennial Digital Driven by Freedom Tire. And welcome back to Centennial Digital Driven by Freedom Tire. Excuse me. We had a mute problem. And welcome back to Centennial Digital, Digital Driven by Freedom Tire. So the Jaguars are going to have the ball. And Kale Jones with it. And a handoff to Vasky. Vasky up with the midair two, and that one's going to be off. Liberty's going to have it over in the corner. Deep three-pointer. That one's missed. Kale Jones with the rebound. And Harrison Jones is in the game for the Jaguars. Five seconds. Five-second call on the Jaguars. 
So Harrison, Harrison Jensen comes in for Rex Jensen. I don't think there's any relationship there. And Liberty's gonna have the ball. Once again, another three-pointer. That one's off top of the glass. And it comes down. So that's gonna be two threes in a row that were missed for Liberty. So Vasky brings it up. And we've got a heavy foul. Heavy foul on Liberty. That was one heck of a play. So number 12, Shea Sanders with the heavy jump up and just didn't see it coming and just fell straight on Vasky. Hopefully they are both okay. So Vasky's going to be at the line. He gets his first. And Jaguar substitution. Joey Oki comes out. Or, no, excuse me. Connor Welsh comes in for Will Smith. Liberty's going to have the ball. That one goes out. Oki's going to throw it into Vasky. Vasky's going to bring it up. And a missed shot there. And that one's going to go out. Olivia's going to have it down low. Up at the top of the key, Kale Jones up, hand straight up. So two points good for the Lightning. Winkle brings it up over to Welsh for the three, over the top, missed. Rebound by Oki. Over to Nick Vasky. Missed out the glass. And we're going to have a foul down low. And we've got a foul called, and a livery player is going to be at the line. So the freshman, Evan Abbott, is going to get a little chance here. Joey Oki and Nick Vasky are going to come on out. And Evan Abbott and Chase Shuddy are going to come in. A rebound by the freshman right away. Winkle brings it up. Winkle over to Jones. Jones the Welsh. Welsh to Shuddy for the three. And it's good. Shuddy with the three-pointer for the Jaguars. Liberty brings it up. Three-pointer attempts, up and out. Rebound by Chase Shuddy. Winkle brings it up for the Jags. Winkle's looking to go side to side for the three. And it's gone. Two threes in a row for the Jaguars. So Liberty with a three-point shot that's missed. 
tangle up. And it's going to be off Liberty. So Liberty with their missed three. Liberty is one for 12 at the three-point line tonight. They're going to have a sub. Winkle over to Welsh. Welsh to Oki. Or excuse me, not Oki. Abbott. Abbott to Shuddy. Shuddy to Welsh. 21 on the shot clock. And it's over to Winkle. Winkle goes up. And we've got a foul. So that's Iowa City's seventh of the night, combining the first and second. Winkle's going to be at the line for two, and that's good. Just a reminder, we have a JV dance performance tonight for the Jaguars. And the second one's going to be good. We have a JV dance performance night for the Jaguars, and we'll just stay here for that. I think it's right after the second. And then we'll head to our commercial break, and we'll have some stats. So it's a missed shot. Shutty up with a two-pointer. It was a nice defensive rebound over there, too, for the Jaguars, from the Jaguars. Liberty brings it up. Another three-point attempt, and this one is good. Iowa City Liberty, two for 13 from that line. Winkle brings it up over to Abbott. Abbott with the pump fake over to Winkle. Winkle wide open. And that one's going to fall out. Winkle with the, Winkle. with the missed shot. And then he goes up with the rebound. Goes up. Liberty up and miss out. Defense, a rebound from Kale Jones. He goes up and we've got a foul. So Welsh is gonna be at the line for the Jaguars. So it's gonna be, we have 313 left until we head to our halftime. And we, Jaguars lead 30, excuse me, now 37 to 11. And the freshman comes out, as well as Cale Jones. Will Smith makes another entrance in tonight's game. And now Welsh comes out. And Nick Vasky is going to be in his spot. So Liberty's going to bring it up. They're driving in over to the three-point line. Up, drives in with the two-point, and that's good. Winkle's going to bring it up with 2.45 to go. Shotty with the ball, top to Klee, driving, and that's a good two. Chase Shotty. One guy I would love to have on my team on the down low position at the five spot. And in between Ling, nice pass over from Liberty. Go straight up. Shuddy's thinking this one is straight up and was a clean hit. The rest disagree with that one. And Liberty's going to have a player at the line. Shuddy's going to have his third. And the first one falls for Liberty. Substitution, Shuddy, Chase Shuddy comes out, and number 35, Kale Jones, comes in. So this Liberty player is going to attempt the next free throw, and that one's good. Lightning's, Lightning has a, another substitution. And Nick Vasquez is going to throw it in. 
Nasky to Winkle. Winkle looking to bring this one up himself with heavy defense. Over to Vasky. Vasky with his nice high jump to grab the ball. Heavy defense. Vasky looking to go somewhere. Over to Jones. Jones to Oki. Oki to Winkle. Winkle driving in. Over to Jones. Jones goes up. And the refs are going to say that was a travel. Liberty's going to bring it up. Winkle with medium heat defense. Looks like a tr screen try up. Liberty with a two. That's missed. Rebound by Liberty. Up again. That one's not going to fall. Liberty with another offensive rebound. Go for the two, and that one's good. Winkle throws a far one over to Smith. Smith dribbles the ball, and that one's going to fall out. And we've got a timeout called by Coach Fontana to get his team back together. So we're going to have a 30-second timeout for the Jaguars, and we're just going to go ahead and keep it here. But looking at, a, looking at the Jaguars' side, we haven't done this before, but we would like to recognize our managers for the Jaguars. Our first manor, manager is Jonah, and Madison, Crystal, McKenna, Brooke, and Cash. Cash Van Bali as in me, as helping out the Jaguars this year, as well as helping out Andy Pollock with the play-by-play. -play. So we're going to go ahead with a minute 27 left in the first half of this one. Liberty's going to have the ball. And heavy difference from the Jaguars over to Smith's player, over to another Liberty player, Liberty. With the ball at the key, down low, Cale Jones with the steal over the Winkle, Smith, and that's a good two by number 31, Will Smith. Liberty's gonna bring it up. And a pretty big hit there, a three-pointer up by Liberty. That one's off, a rebound by Cale Jones. Winkle brings it up with a three-pointer, and that's up and good. Three-pointer by number 14, Luke Winkle. Liberty's going to have the ball up top of the key. Going to drive in, and we've got a whistle call. We've got a foul call. Montana looking to explain something or getting mad. So number 14, Luke Winkle comes out and number 15, Drake Dittmar comes in. So Liberty's gonna have it pretty high up on their side. Over to corner, fake pump, three pointer, that one's missed, rebound by Smith. Up by Nick, missed by Vasky. And unknown what that call was, was. And Jaguars are gonna have it at the three point. At the top, Baskey has it. 10 seconds left on the clock. Jaguars do not have the shot clock on them. So they might just hold this one until the end. Three, two, rebound. And a steal. Steal last minute by Dimar, so that's going to be a steal. And we're going to go ahead and take a quick break we've got a little bit of a performance from the Jaguars JV squad and we're gonna take a 
maybe a minute break here, and we'll be right back. You're watching Centennial Digital, driven by Freedom Tire. What if you could create memories that would last a lifetime? That would be pretty cool. Well, now you can. West 40 Market. In Uptown Ankeny is your place to shop for the best meats, steaks, brats, jerky, and everything in between. Let us be your one-stop shop for all your favorite cuts. All raised on local Iowa farms. Shopping local never tasted so good. Welcome back to Centennial Digital, driven by Freedom Tire, and as promised, we've got a JV Jaguars dance team performance, and we'll go ahead and leave it to them. We've got a nice performance from the JV dance team. And we're going to go ahead and head to a break. And we'll be right back with, with uh, stats from our first half. And you're watching Centennial Digital driven by Freedom Tire. Everything we do is here to benefit the client. Every decision that's needed to be made, the first question you should ask is, does this, does this benefit the client and is this the best thing for the client? The tools and, and resources that we have to help price their homes correctly, to help market them correctly, and um, get them, it's, it's the way that we can help them accomplish whatever their goals are. We are available basically 24 seven to make sure that our agents are getting the support they need um, to look like a million bucks in front of their clients.
Freedom Tire is proud to be the title sponsor of supporting Jaguar student athletes through Centennial Digital. With six locations around the metro, you're never far from getting you back or keeping your family safely on the road. Our certified staff and state-of-the-art technology means you can take comfort knowing you've got the best work at the best prices. Come see us at Freedom Tire, a proud supporter of Centennial Digital. So when an athlete walks into Nick Tarash Fitness, the one thing we want them to know is that this is a phenomenal community. We have the best coaching. We have the best technology. We have the, the programming that can help them succeed. So whether it's trying to get on JV for the first time, going to that next level on varsity, going from a, a second string to you know an all-state player, we have the tools, we have the, the programming and the coaching in order to take each individual to their next level. West 40 Market in Uptown Ankeny is your place to shop for the best meats, steaks, brats, jerky, and everything in between. Let us be your one-stop shop for all your favorite cuts. All raised on local Iowa farms. Shopping local never tasted so good. What if you could create memories that would last a lifetime? That would be pretty cool. Well, now you can. West 40 Market in Uptown Ankeny is your place to shop for the best meats, steaks, brats, jerky, and everything in between. Let us be your one-stop shop for all your favorite cuts. All raised on local Iowa farms. Shopping local never tasted so good. Yep. Welcome back to Centennial Digital driven by Freedom Tire. We're at halftime with about a one a minute 30 left looking at a little bit of stats here the of course Luke Winkle the s captain of the team here has leading points right now with 23 putting up what a NBA star will put up in the first 23 points within the first half coming in second is Chase Shuddy with a couple of his boards with seven points. Winkle's seven for nine field goal and he's four from four, excuse me, four for five from the three point line. So we've got his score here at halftime is 45 to 17 with about 50 seconds here to go in halftime. Shuddy here in the second half looking for a way to play physical but not get the foul called. Co talking to Coach Fontana about that. And we're going to head to the third half, third quarter, excuse me. 
with a Jaguar lead of 45 to 17. And our freshman team got the W for the Jaguars just earlier at 5.30. And the sophomore Jaguars as well got the W. So Jaguars are 2-0 against Liberty tonight. like our starters here tonight are Joey Oak, or excuse me, starters for the second half is Joey Oakey, Nick Vasky, Connor Welsh, and Luke Winkle. is showtime second half action Jaguars lightning here we go Liberty's gonna have the ball on the opposite opposite side because they changed at half in the corner duped in shuddy right there the cut off that one a big throw over to a wide open lightning player Jaguars are pushing to the limits with three seconds on the shot clock, and Liberty still gets it. Winkle's gonna have it. Vasky over to Vasky. Heavy defense by Liberty. Over to Winkle. Winkle to Vasky. Vasky back to Winkle. Winkle looks like he possibly slipped. Over to Oki. Oki dribbles in. Fakes pass over to Vasky. Vasky goes in, up, missed. Rebound by Vasky. Vasky brings it down. Oh, Nick Vasky completes his own rebound there and gets the Jaguars a two pointer, bringing their lead up to 40, 47 to 21. Winkle has it to Shuddy. Lenny go up and over. Shuddy goes in, crashes, and that one's missed. So they're up in a little hurry. That one goes down. Rebound. Winkle goes up. Bam! It just falls out. So Shuddy with an offensive rebound. Over to Vasky. Vasky goes in. That one misses as well. A defensive rebound from Liberty. Liberty pushes it over to another player. Towards the corner, tipped out, no steal. Over in the corner, three-pointer, that one's off. Rebound by Chase Shuddy. Liberty's two from 15 from that three-point line tonight. It's going to be Winkle over to Oki. Oki to Shuddy. Shuddy to Oki. Oki up with a three. That one bounces out. Excuse me, does not bounce out. Goes off the backboard. Liberty up. Then misses. Rebound by Oki. Oki up. Welsh to Winkle. Winkle up, tipped. I'm gonna say that one was a block by Liberty up, and we've got a foul. And that one's gonna be on Oki. So we've got the Jaguars here. Joey Oki commits the foul. Lightning have a good basket. Joey Oki comes out. Joey Oki comes out, excuse me, and Will Smith comes in. And Klinger comes on in for Welsh.
And that three, that one was missed. Smith goes up, out to Shuddy, Shuddy for the three, no. He just bounces out over to Winkle to Vasky. Vasky has it up towards top, and we've got a foul call on Liberty. So Winkle has it. Over to Shuddy to Smith. Smith looking to go somewhere, but heavy guarded. Smith over to Shuddy, shut the three. And that one's missed. So we're gonna have a foul call on Liberty. So it's gonna be a blocking foul. It's gonna be a blocking foul. Vasky to Shuddy, over to Winkle. Winkle over to Smith, down low. Smith to Klinger. Klinger up top. Klinger goes in, crashes the boards, and he's got himself a two-pointer. Liberty's going to bring it up. Crashes the boards. Winkle goes up with it, and that one's going to fall for him. So Shuddy's gonna go over to Winkle. Winkle to Klinger, up to Will. Will misses. Klinger goes to get to go tip it, but that one's missed as well. Defensive rebound for the Lightning. Lightning go up, top of the key, going to Crash. Crash goes up, and we've got a blocking foul called on Nick Vasky. So two pointers are gonna be good, and. Nick Vasky's gonna have himself his first. And Jaguars off to a off to a heavy start on the fouls. So the first one goes out. It's a rebound though from Iowa City Liberty. Liberty looking, three pointer shot up. That one's off the mark. Rebound by Smith. So Winkle's going to have the ball. Winkle over towards the corner. Winkle's got double team. Shuddy wants to go up for the, excuse me, fake shot there. Over to Vasky. Vasky with the missed three pointer. Liberty brings it up towards the corner. Down low to Shuddy's guy. Shuddy's guy goes up and he's got it too. Winkle just chucks it all the way over to Vasky. Vasky's going under over to Shuddy. Shuddy, last minute wasn't wide. Klinger up and we've got a foul. So we got a foul, that one's gonna be a hit on the arm. And we've got two Jaguar substitutions at the table and one for the Lightning. Oki's gonna come in for Will Smith and, and Rex, Rex Jensen's gonna come in for Nick Vasky. Second one's up, and it's good. So we've got a substitution for the shooter. Connor Welsh comes in for Klinger. So Winkle's gonna meet him over at the at their three-point line. Lightning have it at the top of the key. Over towards the opposite corner of our camera. Up towards, down in the lane, and that one's gonna be good for the Lightning. Lightning 12 for 29 from the field goal. It's gonna be a steal from the Lightning. Missed pass, and I wouldn't know if I would say that was a dunk, but it might have been. Welsh has it, travel called. Now this one's getting close, ladies and gentlemen. It's 50 to 32. It's starting to get a little bit closer by the minutes. Liberty has a little bit of a kick here. 
Two minutes to go in the third quarter. Lincoln meets him towards the half. Looks like number 35, Kill Jones, is going to get to the table. Liberty has it up with the two. That's missed. Rebound by him again. Goes up for the two point, and that's good. Liberty 34, Jaguars 50. Winkle's heavy, heavily guarded right away. Winkle brings it up towards the top of the key. Looks to crash over to Welsh. Welsh for the three. And it's good. That's a nasty shot from Connor Welsh. So Liberty's going to have it in the corner. And looks to crash her three pointer up. And that one's off the mark. So it's a defensive rebound from Chase Shuddy over to Rex Jensen. That goes up. And we have ourselves a foul. So we have a couple substitutions for the Jaguars. Rex Jones at the line. Once again, this was our teammate of the week from Sports Page Bar and Grill, elected by him. Rex Jensen, excuse me, Rex. Joey Oki's going to come out. Two free throws are good. Rex Jensen is going to come out. Nick Tavaski is going to come in. Joey Oki as well is going to come out. And Kale Jones is going to come in for him. So heavy defense by Welsh. Welsh. Looking to get the steal here. Heavy defense. Down the center, middle, bounces out. Offensive rebound, misses once again. That one's going to go out. And the fans are going to disagree on that one from Iowa City. It was a close call, but at the end of the day, it was called Jaguar ball tipped out by Liberty. Now we've got heavy defense here because it's only a 20-point ball game. And it keeps simmering down. Winkle brings it up all the way in. No foul called. It's going to be a missed shot, though. Goes up, and we've got a foul called. It's going to be on the ground. Foul, call, foul excuse me, called on Nick Vasky. So we've got 31 seconds left in this third, and Liberty has the ball in the opposite corner. Cale Jones straight out, hands up. Goes up, and that's missed. Kale Jones gets it. So Winkle's going to bring it up. We have 15 seconds on the clock. No shot clock here. And Winkle most likely is going to hold this one. We've got five seconds left on the clock. Up. Missed three-pointer. Rebound by Liberty. And he's going to chuck it up. That one's going to go out. So we have a defensive rebound, a missed three-pointer at the end of this one. So going into the fourth quarter, or score, yep, fourth quarter. Uh, Jaguars are going to lead 54 to 34, and we'll be right back. It's a close one. Liberty looking to come back and possibly win this one. Jaguars just looking to hold on to this lead. You're watching Centennial Digital, driven by Freedom Tire. Everything we do is here to benefit the client. Every decision that's needed to be made, the first question you should ask is, does this, does this benefit the client and is this the best thing for the client? Tools and, and resources that we have to help price their homes correctly, to help market them correctly, and um, get them, it's, it's the way that we can help them accomplish whatever their goals are. We are available basically 24 seven to make sure that our agents are getting the support they need um, to look like a million bucks in front of their clients.
What if you could create memories that would last a lifetime? That would be pretty cool. Well, now you can. Welcome to Centennial Digital, driven by Freedom Tire. We're back live. And, oh, Welsh has it for the Jaguars over to Vasky. Vasky goes up. And we're going to have a foul call on that one. Vasky's going to go in over to the line. First one's going to roll out. Second one up. Made. So we're, it's going to be a 55-30... 34 lead for the Jaguars. Over to Liberty. Liberty in quarter three. That one's missed. Rebounded by Kale Jones. Winkle brings it up. Winkle has the ball still, and the ref starts taking the five seconds. Over to Jones. Over to Shuddy. Shuddy goes up. And that is a beautiful tip to rim. Walsh greets the lightning at the half. Up oh. and missed. Kale Jones gets the rebound once again. Winkle's going to bring it up. Greeted by a Liberty player. Goes, crashes. Walsh off with the three. And it's good. Three-pointer by number two, Connor Welsh. Liberty's going to have the ball on the opposite side. Opposite side. Crash the boards, goes up with a little pull-up. A nice rebound by Kale Jones. Over to Winkle. Winkle goes up, and it's going to be a foul. So I City Liberty is going to have their sixth of the half. Winkle's going to be at the line. And I think this one is what, what put up the Jaguars by so much is the fouls by Iowa City. <laughs> Iowa City keeps committing the fouls and is putting the Jaguars up. And this is why the Jaguars and any other team needs to have the free throws down. Because once again, free throws are what win games. So Winkle's gonna get the free throws. Liberty has the ball. Off Baskey and it's gonna stay there. So Liberty's gonna have it at the top. Oh, a little stop, a little slip there, but he still gets the two. The 
So Winkle has it over to Welsh, over to Winkle, Winkle to Jones. Jones the Shuddy, Shuddy out to Vasky, Vasky goes in, over to Winkle. Winkle driving. And that one's gonna pop out. And we've got a block by Iowa City. Iowa City goes up, they've got a two pointer and it's gonna be a three point play. So Fontana not really happy camper about that call. Substitute for the Jaguars. Oki's gonna come out and Shuddy, excuse me, Oki's gonna come in and Shuddy's gonna come out. Oki's had one heck of a night as well as Shuddy. So that one's gonna be good for the three point play. They confirm it. Vasky throws it into Winkle, over to Vasky, over back to Winkle. Winkle brings it fully up. Winkle has it at the top of the key. Goes over towards the corner, pops back. Over to Oki. Oki to Vasky. Vasky looking to go somewhere. Over to Jones. Jones to Welsh. Jo or excuse me, Welsh crashing. Over to Vasky. Vasky goes up. And we've got another foul. So that's seven fouls for Liberty in the second half. Liberty fans aren't really happy with that call. Vasky goes for the first, and that one's misses. It misses. So Vasky's going for his second free throw with 4.50 to go. 51, excuse me. That one falls in, and they increase to their increase their lead. Iowa City Liberty crashes the boards, and they've got a good two point. Winkle's gonna bring it up, called some type of play over to Vasky, high up in there. Looked like a 50 yard pass. Vasky hands it back off to Winkle. Winkle has it at the top. Looks to go somewhere. Kuna over to Welsh. Welsh for the three. That one's off. Rebounded by o by Oki. Excuse me. Over to Welsh. Three pointer. And it's good. Three pointer number two. Connor Welsh. Oh, and looks like. Winkle saw the opportunity to try and get the steal, but just couldn't. So Chase Shuddy's going to come in for Kale Jones. Or excuse me, Shuddy is going to come out. Or yep, he's coming in. And Welsh is going to come out and... Klinger is going to come in. And Lightning is going to get, they're going to get their timeout. So we've got a one minute timeout and Jaguars lead 66 to 43 with 344 left in the first. And we're going to go ahead and head to a break because it's a full. So we're watching Centennial Digital driven by Freedom Tire. Everything we do is here to benefit the client. Everything we do is here to benefit the client. Every decision that's needed to be made, the first question you should ask is, does this, does this benefit the client and is this the best thing for the client? Tools and, and resources that we have to help price their homes correctly, to help market them correctly, and um, 
get them, it's, it's the way that we can help them accomplish whatever their goals are. We are available basically 24-7 to make sure that our agents are getting the support they need um, to look like a million bucks in front of their clients. Welcome back to Centennial Digital Gym by Freedom Tire. Winkle's gonna have it over to Oki. Tipped out, and so give me Jaguar ball. We got the Jaguars' next game. That's gonna get, be against the state champions, the Valley Tigers, here in the jungle. And Iowa City Liberty has their next game against the a rival. In the same town over at Extreme Arena, they play Iowa City West. Liberty's gonna have the ball off a missed shot. Over to the corner, Vasky overplays, he goes out. He still regains his coverage. Over to the dead, dead corner. Vasky's playing heavy. Liberty just didn't know where the pass was going and it was missed. Drake Dittmars coming in for number 14, Luke Winkle. Luke Winkle with one heck of a night. So Dittmars is going to have it, and it's going to be double team, so it's going to be another foul on the Lightning. Lightning has have eight this half. Over to Klinger, Klinger. Liberty has the steal. Liberty goes up. Miss two. They rebound, though. Liberty's going to have it at the top. Top of the key. 2.30 left in this one. Throws it straight to Drake Dittmar, so that's going to be a steal for him. Dittmar, pass over to Shuddy. That's out. Our next, the next substitution for the Jaguars is going to be for Nick Vasky, number 22, Harrison Jensen's gonna come in. Our next production of Centennial Digital will be on coming this Friday against the Valley Tigers defending champs. Come to the jungle for a, for a game. And Jaguars, last time they did play the Tigers, they did win by a decent amount. So Liberty's going to have a have a substitution. So Dittmar's going to pick up a Liberty player around the half court line. He was over it, though. Heavy defense, Harrison Jensen, heavy defense as well. Stolen by Klinger, Klinger going up. He's got himself a two pointer. He's got himself seven points tonight. Looks like number 31, Will Smith, gonna come to the table for a substitution. Liberty up with the two, that one's good. I'll give him credit for that one. That was one heck of a shot there. Jaguars have a timeout. Timeout's going to be called, and Fontana yells full. So it's going to be a one-minute timeout for the Jaguars. 141 left, and the Jaguars lead 68-45. to Looking at the Jaguars' schedule upcoming for the next four games. Like I said earlier, the Jaguars take the Valley Tigers on the defending boys basketball champs here in the jungle. Then they travel to Johnston High School and play the Dragons at 745 at their place at on December 12th. On December 15th, the Waukee Warriors are in town at the jungle. And the fourth game will be December 19th at the jungle, and it's gonna be a crosstown rivalry against the Ankeny Hawks. We've got about 10 seconds left on this timeout. 
And we would like to give heavy credit to our cheerleaders of tonight. I do not have their names on hand, but uh, we would like to give them a big credit for coming to all the games, putting in the work. So Klingon's going to have it down low on the baseline. Jaguars have ball, heavy defense, and almost a scare over to Denmark. Denmark to Jensen, Jensen over to Smith. Smith over to Abbott. Abbott's in, goes up, and he's got two. Evan Abbott came in for Joey Oki. Liberty's going to have the ball top of the key, looking to go somewhere. Once again, Jaguars do have that lane locked down. He's going to crash a lane, looking for a little trouble. That one goes out. Official decision there. Smith gets the rebound over the Jensen, over to Klinger. Over to Smith, over to Klinger, and we've got a travel call on Klinger. With 46.4 left in this one, it's a travel call. We see a couple guys off the bench coming in. Klinger's coming out. And Abbott and Smith are going to come out. Evan Abbott comes out, and we've got number 24, Keegan Sherwood. And we've got a lead here, 46 seconds to go, 70-45, Jaguars lead, looking to put another one in the left-hand column. Dittmar has it, Sherwood heavy defense right off the bench, over to Baker's guy, Dittmar heavy defense, Sherwood looking to go somewhere, three-pointer good for Liberty. Jensen's bringing up for the Jaguars, Passes over to Dittmar, heavy damage from Liberty. Over to Baker, Baker, three-pointer! And tipped off, just barely misses. And defense rebound from Iowa City, three seconds to go, two, one. And that's gonna be a final. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a final score of 70 to 48. The Jaguars get the win. We will be right back with the post-game stats and post-game show on Centennial Digital, driven by Freedom Tire. What if you could create memories that would last a lifetime? That would be pretty cool. Well, now you can. Welcome back to Centennial Digital, driven by Freedom Tire. Welcome to the Centennial Digital Post Game Show. Your play-by-play -play announcer here, Cash Van Bali, is going to walk you through the summary of this game. It was a close one. Top scorer for tonight was number 14, Luke Winkle, with 24 points. Chase Shuddy with the second, with 11. It was a close game here tonight at the beginning, but the Jaguars did pull away towards at halftime. And at the end of this one, it's going to be a 70-48 to 48 final score. 
Jaguars next week will be taking on the, excuse me, on Friday will be taking on the Valley Tigers of West Des Moines at 745 here in the jungle. And looking at Iowa City Liberty, they'll be taking on a rival over at Extreme Arena, but they will be technically a away game, a 6.30 game over at, excuse me, this will be a Sunday game over at Extreme Arena, Iowa City West. They'll be taking them on. So we'll get a post-game interview from Luke Winkle, and hopefully we'll have that one on our Twitter page or Facebook page. We'll see We'll see how good of the interview it is from uh, Cash Van Bali. But this was a fun one and a great one. Jaguars put one in the, the uh, left column. They are 2-1, and one and the Lightning are 1-1. One and one. We'll see you next time at the production of Ankeny Centennial Digital. We would like to thank our production crew and your play-by-play -play announcer tonight, Cash Van Bali. You've been watching Centennial Digital, driven by Freedom Tire. Everybody, have a great night, and go.